Hi, Tom Coley, coach for Buckeye Cable and BCSN. And it's certainly uh, really an honor to be with Lion superstar, Robert Porsche. Robert, um, you had to watching the Patriots-Denver game. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to take you here because I, I don't know if you know where I'm going, but to me, you were the prototype defensive end where destroyed – he destroyed the, uh, Tom Brady and the Patriots. Uh, the tackle, Robert, and this is what you did to people, the tackle couldn't get, but he lifted his hand to come out of the stance, and Ware was already by him, knocking Brady down. He made Brady look ordinary. You did that your whole career. You were way ahead. They're, they're all doing guys like you today. Did, does that, did you realize how far ahead you were as a defensive end in the NFL? Well, I think it's just... When you're when you're playing and you're in a big game like that, the crowd noise is just so huge. When you're in a hometown team and you're playing at home, because the crowd, the tackles, they just have an idea of what the snap count is. Yeah. And they just have a cadence that they're going off. They can't really hear it. So he's really depending on watching that defensive end. So if you're a guy and you, you have an idea of what that count is going to be or if a quarterback is doing little things like – you know, a lot of times quarterbacks get in their cadences, and when they get their hand under the center, right before the ball snaps, they'll open their hands. So if you are keen in those little – So you're picking up on those little you things. You pick up yeah, on those yeah. little things like that, and you're going off of it, then you're going to always beat the tackle. Yeah. And it made a big difference in that oh, game. Oh, he destroyed and, – and he made Brady kind of look ordinary. I mean, he really, really did. And did you – when you owned guys, and you did own guys in games, was that a not, 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 not was that a feeling though, Robert? You had and you said, "Okay, I know that I'm more athletic and faster than this guy trying to block me." Well, I, I, again, it just it just really depends on the flow of the game, and sometimes you get in a game and everything is just clicking. You know, in that game Sunday, the Broncos defense it was yeah. just they their their front seven. I thought did a very good job yeah. of really controlling the run and putting him in passing situations. And the uh, uh, Patriots offensive line have had problems all season, and it showed up Sunday. Robert, you're such a star with the Detroit Lions, oh, such wow. a consistent, <laughs> such a consistent performer. You know, right, they right. they knew when they put you on the field, right. they knew what they were going to get. You know, I, I think sometimes that's why teams struggle in the NFL because. One Sunday, maybe they get this from player A, and the next Sunday, for whatever reason, maybe it's a bad matchup for them or whatever, but they don't get the same, you were a consistent, outstanding performer. Um, was, that, was that hard to do? Did some of this come natural to you, or was it just gut ache and hard work? Well, I think for me, I spent my whole entire career here. You know, so, you know, our fans had, they had an opportunity to see me struggle in the beginning, they, they watched me kind of grow and then just kind of come into my own and get really comfortable. The way free agency is in the NFL is now, a lot of teams, very few players get the opportunity to actually end their career with the same team that they started with. So I, I think I was blessed and fortunate in that sense. And, you know, I, I, I did work at it. I mean, it wasn't just just natural. You just ha you have to work at it. And, and I, I took I took pride in, took pride in, it. In, in, in working and trying to get better every year. Robert, your, your deal was to get to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And was there a quarterback or two in particular that you took a real uh, enjoyment in getting to? Well, I, back during those days when I played, I mean, Brett Favre was the, the mecca yeah. of, of, of quarterbacks. I mean, just his the way he approached the game, the way he played the game, you know, just the uh, spectacular plays that he made. So, and of course, with us playing the Packers twice a year and then a couple years, three times a year because of the playoffs, I mean, he was by far at the top of my list just because, you know, he was a difference maker in that team. He was that team. Do you see sometimes when you look into a quarterback's eyes that, you know, that you're getting in his head when you're knocking him down that he's not going to have a good day? Can you tell that, wow, we're starting to get to this guy? Yeah, some guys, but... Not, not with Brett, yeah. Brett Favre. That, that wasn't. I mean, he, he was one of those guys where it seemed like the more you hit him, he played harder. The play, the, he played hard and enjoyed it. So you know that was not the case with him. But yeah, some guys, you know, some guys had rough Sundays. Yeah. Well, and you, and you caused a lot of them, Robert. You know, you, you've always been a guy giving back the community. You know, you've had businesses that you've. You know, 
talk about your philosophy of, of wanting to give back and run businesses in the area where you you know made this great career because you are a give back guy. Right. Well, I mean, as for me, just knowing the fabric and the makeup of Michiganians and you know, people here right here in Ohio being close to the yes. state line, I mean, this is what this city, this county, this state is all about. I mean, you know, factory workers, teachers, uh, people just work hard here and they like an honest day pay for an honest day work. And I just grew up, my father was a longshoreman, my mom was a teacher. So of course in our house, we always worked. So I was blessed with a lot of different opportunities and you know, I tried to take advantage of them. Well, you did that and more Robert, and we're blessed to, to have you on our network and- uh, I'm honored to be here. Well, you know, the people are going to have so much fun having a chance to interact with you and ask you questions. And, you know, this is Lions country, too. Don't be, you know, Toledo, Ohio, but it's it's big time Lions country. So you're going to have fun today. Robert, thank you so much thank for you. being thank with you. us. Thank you. you were fantastic. Thank you. And thanks to the good folks at the Hollywood Casino for bringing these Lions superstars to our network. Tom Coley-Coase for Buckeye Cable and BCSN.